Hi everybody, it's Andy from Snow Camp Europe. So I have recently seen on Facebook a lot of adverts for this um, ski wearable called, ski wearable called Curve. And I've noticed that on most of their adverts, the advice that this device is giving is saying that you need to apply more pressure to your outside or downhill ski. Now, in the last week, I've seen this advert several times and I've actually had a few messages from people saying to me, Andy, have you seen this? Do you know if this wearable will actually tell me how to put the pressure on the outside ski? Now, I don't actually know the question to this because I have never used this wearable or the app, uh, whatever you want to call it. But what I am going to do is I'm going to just quickly show you one exercise that will most definitely increase the pressure on the outside ski. So there's actually many ways that we can train to get more pressure on the outside ski. It could be working on our body position, it could be working on the, the angle of our ankle and our knees and our hips. With the exercise I'm going to show you, this is perhaps possibly one of the most effective exercises for getting pressure onto the outside ski. And also, it also helps with the body position. And what it's going to be is, we can actually just lift the tail of our ski up on the uphill because if this ski is off the ground where is my weight where is my pressure it has to be on my downhill ski so I'm gonna lift the inside ski just as I go into the fall line so I come around the turn on the downhill ski and as you can see when I lift my ski up my body position automatically changes so I lift the ski and my body position changes and my weight my weight comes over the downhill ski, therefore adding more pressure. Now, so I'm gonna So as you can probably see, by lifting the inside ski, I can only have weight on the downhill ski. Now I did this exercise very slowly. What you can do is you can then speed this up. Now, I'm not saying you should ski on one leg because you ideally want to have contact with the snow with both skis all of the time. But as an effective exercise to train you to get more pressure onto the outside ski, and to improve that body position, then this is a great exercise. Whether or not this curve wearable tells you this, or tells you other ways to get pressure onto the outside ski, I don't yet know. And I would be interested, if anybody does know, for you in the comments below to tell me um, how it tries to correct faults in skiing. Because as I say, at the moment, all I can see it says, put more weight on your outside ski, more pressure, Great, you've achieved 80%, etc, etc. So if you do know any more about this uh, this wearable, then let me know. Um, but I hope you found that useful. Give it a go when you're next out on the slopes. Just remember, lift the heel of the ski, leave the tip on the ground for balance, and come around the turn on the outside ski, and you will instantly increase the pressure on that downhill ski. So Andy for Snow Camps Europe saying bye for now.